Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we'll be discussing 10 most essential design tools for uh, UX and UI designers. Some of these tools are essentially just design tools, some are organization or planning tools which can be used in the entire design process. So without further ado, let's get started with the first tool. The first tool is all in one workspace which is Notion and uh, as you can see this has four essential features you can either write notes you can collect a, a database of knowledge or uh, information you can assign tasks and projects and you can again you have a storage as well of you know like a list of all the things that you got to do and the good thing about this software is it easily as allows you to switch from evernote and not only that, before you actually get this software, you can actually test this live demo on their website. So you can check how you can make uh, new lists, how you can tick things out, how you can rearrange stuff, how you can add new stuff. So you know what all you can do inside this website before actually installing this application. It's pretty cool. One of my uh, teammates in my company, uh, in my business told me, um, about this software and uh, I've used it a couple of times I don't use it as much I mainly use it uh, for uh, handling lists and to do's but it's a pretty cool software and if you are looking for a software an all-in-one note-taking software with everything then you should go ahead and download this notion okay so this next software is called origami studio and it's basically uh, allows you to create prototypes from your designs uh, in sketch and uh, you can export from sketch into origami and uh, uh, this is completely free of cost and it's used by it's basically a tool produced by Facebook for its own team the Facebook and Instagram team but you can use it uh, it's free of cost it's available only on the Mac uh, but you know that's the price you gotta pay so if you're using this uh, a sketch if you're using sketch you can use this side by side rather than using paid alternatives like principle uh and other and figma uh like framer and uh principle so uh this is a cool tool i haven't installed uh it has a lot of features you can set up um you know devices like iphone or android phone like moto g or a mac window as well it doesn't have like support for each and every device but you can uh, create custom devices as well and you can open um, you know files and you can set what you want in these systems so it's a pretty cool software you should go ahead and check it out it allows you to create these awesome uh, you know things with uh, basic uh, design print with uh, these awesome you can create these awesome uh, you know prototypes inside uh, your phone and that's pretty awesome okay so the next tool is called chroma and it's still in beta but it's a pretty good cool software it allows you to uh, uh, choose colors and it uh, recognizes your taste and color and it uh, gives you recommendations based on an artificial intelligence so if you say personalize it takes you through a basic short process uh, where you have to choose between uh, between 50 uh, colors and once you have set that up uh, you know s selecting 50 colors then you can move on uh, to it allows you to then have all the colors in one place and it shows you recommendations based on that to learn your preferences and as you can see it says generating data and I like how cool these gradients are, by the way. And as you can see, training 4%, 5%. I'll leave it at this and we'll come back to this uh, after I've, you know, I've shown you a couple of other things. Okay, so the next software or the next uh, online uh, software or website is called Drubbler. And this tool is pretty cool because it allows you to sign in with Dribble. So if you're uh, on Dribble, you can sign up real quick and or sign in real quick from here. And what you can do is you can, uh, you know, create a shot real quick. You can just uh, import whatever you like. And once you do that, what, the cool thing about this is it lets you schedule your uh, Dribble posts. So if you want to post something tomorrow at 
uh, say um, 5 a.m. You can go ahead and do that and you can change it to what it it has whatever default time zone you're in. So right now I am in India. So this is the time zone and you can set whatever date and you can then, you know, you can go back and you can set multiple uh, posts for the next week. Um, this is how really good teams like, um, you know, uh, like uh, Sticker Mule, PayPal, Lyft, uh, Envision, even Dropbox is using. And so it's pretty legit and it's pretty cool. Uh, so go ahead and give it a try. It's free of cost forever. Okay, so as you can see, this a uh, cool uh, Chroma tool, which is still in beta, has assigned all the colors that I selected and created uh, added fonts to it so you can see what fonts go best uh, you can even set images so uh, you can see images how images would look uh, with those colors and you know this is really good for web designers out there who are trying to get these effects these, this is brilliant and uh, you can even get the code for this so uh, you know you can embed it in your websites and it's everything ready made and you you can go ahead and favorite these things and the more you favorite the better this tool will learn because it's all ai and you can even have a good palette so if you want to want something cool for your next project you can have this palette ready uh, this is a heavy website which runs on your system. It stores cash and cookies on your browser and uh, that is how it runs. You can't really log into here. Unfortunately, that's something that we can't do with Chroma. Still in beta. Hopefully, if once they get it off the beta into the market, they'll be able to run everything. As you can see, it's pretty slow. But if you want good colors, good images, uh, good gradients, everything is here packed into one. So again, not a sponsor, but I really like where this tool is going. Okay, so the next tool, uh, again, it's again online. It's not an offline tool. It's called Color Slurp. And um, the whole thing is that it slurps up color from your screen, anywhere on your screen, and gives you, uh, you know, a detailed version of it. And you can pick RGB, HSB, or Box. And uh, it's only available on the Mac App Store, but it's pretty good and uh, there are a lot of alternatives on windows a lot of free alternatives but this is one of the best free color pickers for mac so i'm going to quickly test this out and as you can see uh color slope has started right here if i click here i can quickly go ahead uh and use the color picker and it simply slurps so hopefully i can get this audio yep that audio was pretty legit it actually slurps it you know while it's taking the color in so that's a quirky little feature and you you have you can collect you can add collections that's pretty cool and um, you know a good a very good uh, free alternative to all the other paid color pickers for mac okay so the next tool is basically not online but it's available on your phone and your on your ipad and also your Android phones and Android tablets as well. And um, you know what I'm gonna do is, uh, here's my GoPro footage and as you can see I have, uh, here's my GoPro footage and as you can see I have my phone here. And as you can see Adobe Capture is here. So what it does basically is it allows you to, uh, you know, capture colors. So as you can see it's trying to capture colors right here. Uh, it's pretty pretty accurate to be honest and once you capture an area you can quickly click a picture and it'll capture all the colors in uh, that picture and this is pretty cool if you look at it and you can even do a uh, pattern so if there's you know this kind of creates like this hexagonal pattern which is pretty cool um, you can freeze it whenever you want it's pretty cool again and you can even set looks uh you know it has all these colors and everything and if i click a quick picture of this eagle right here um so what you can do is change stuff here so it's this quickly just giving me a demo uh so what uh you can add filters based on the image that you just clicked <laughs> that was pretty awesome i i can do so much with all these colors i can create custom filters this is pretty good for your Instagrammers out there as well. And even shapes it can detect. See how it detects just the shape. 
um, you can adjust the levels right here uh, and that's pretty cool to be honest and it has so many different things materials as well so it uh, tries to detect what materials that we're using um, roughness detail metallic non-metallic whatever so this is a pretty pretty cool uh, application and it's available for free and okay so this next tool is basically a staple for every designer and design team out there it's called zeppelin and it's free of cost for you know till a limit and what it does it allows you to hand off uh, your product to the developer so I'm just gonna quickly open my Zeppelin and I'm just gonna show you what I mean uh, as you can see on screen this Zeppelin is opening and uh, as you can see I have teams of so many people right here um, in my company and as you can see we have designs right here so I'll just show you some design which is already in production it's there so you can see um, first of all you can sync with slack that's pretty cool you can share uh, with uh, other members as well and you can even share links and uh, you can even set the extensions um, so for example here in the screen uh, I can uh, see what sizes each element is and as you can see uh, it shows me all the dimensions and everything it even shows me the XML code for Android so that's pretty cool to be honest uh, this will help the developers understand your designs better and trust me if you have a developer on board he'll bless you if uh, you use Zeppelin and you uh, share your designs on Zeppelin as well so go ahead and check this out for yourself okay since we're talking about uh, handoff tools for developers and designers another cool handoff tool is avocode the good thing about avocode is that everything is just uh, the entire application all its features are set up online you can either demo it or you can actually try it out for free okay so the next tool that we're going to talk about is obviously my favorite and you probably your favorite if you're subscribed to this channel is adobe xd because i do a lot of adobe xd stuff and design here and adobe xd is free of cost that's the best thing about it if you're using it personally or in a small team then you go ahead and get the adobe xd for free it's the best uh tool it's the best sketch alternative there for windows that was before the may update now with the may update there are so many new tools and features that you can easily say that it goes neck and neck with sketch there is no competition now uh, so this is this is brilliant Adobe XD is brilliant it of course it's an Adobe software so it's got to be good and it syncs with your creative cloud which is also awesome and uh, if you use a uh, illustrator and Photoshop there's quick uh, transfer from Photoshop files to Adobe XD and if you're not using Adobe XD and you're using sketch you can go ahead and import sketch files into XD and it runs smoothly so uh, if you're trying to get into Adobe XD but you think you have everything on sketch you can easily open sketch files on XD and start designing and prototyping from there okay last but not the least uh, is Trello and Trello is pretty awesome if you wanna if you have a team and you want to organize changes discussions uh, you know just in general uh, even if you're not a designer if you're a developer this works really well for example I have this active board right now I have three people on here right now there's a small team and um, you know how see how I can mark things red is for things I don't like orange is for things that can be changed yellow is for suggestions so you can organize things into these lists different lists and you can add cards under these lists images polls and the best part is you can see who's doing what here on the right hand side you don't have to you know uh you don't you get a good history of everything you do and you also have power-ups power-ups are basically um you can add uh, maps uh different tools uh like uh, slack google drive uh custom fields calendar everything you can add inside trello so it's super powerful and um, there are other alternatives like asana but this is the tool that i absolutely love and adore i can say and um, you know it's very clean it's uh, it's uh, great for designers so go ahead and check this tool out
i hope you like this video i do such videos every monday and thursday and uh, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my updates or videos and i'll see you in the next one god bless